Hey fam, so good to be with everyone again. We have a phenomenal night uh, ahead of us, or morning, or depending on where you are. Seb, what time is it for you? Uh, it's 12.44 in the morning, California time, so it's it's bright and early, it's glorious. So. Dynamic. Uh, Richard, first time for uh, some of our crew meeting you, but what time is it and where are you in the world? It is 2.44 a.m. here in beautiful Panama City, brother. Nice. And the rest of us are jumping in from New Zealand. So uh, massive welcome, everyone. It's so good to be uh, here with you all. And I just want to, uh, yeah, just welcome you all. And then we're going to introduce these uh, amazing guys and uh, light it up. So Ty, I'm, I'm, how about I hand it over to you and I'll let you introduce your amazing team. But this oh. is Ty Stevenson and uh, an a legend, a pastor in Auckland, and a real game changer for a lot of people. So, Ty, why don't you introduce your team? Cool, man. Oh, could have me, Benji, and say absolute honor to be here with you this evening. Fired up, man. Been watching what you've been doing the last few days going live and um, seeing some friends of mine, you know, on there with you. Just absolutely pumped for what you're doing. And it's just so fun to be partnering in the space man and just seeing them advance so yeah guys my name is ty i'm based here in auckland new zealand and um and with us this evening we have got the legendary richard Ustra from panama who we're going to hear from in a bit we've got Gemma wilson as well who's just down the road from me in auckland and mr michael jacobson who's down in taupo so these guys are all incredible and you're going to hear a piece right but um yeah benji so so honored to be here this evening man really really stoked yeah fantastic hey Seb, why don't you pray for us and we'll light this up. And uh, fam, our last session with Mark Wilburn, uh, just explosive, dynamic. What a blast discovering this world of trading. And uh, tonight, these guys are just going to open some amazing doors for you to step into uh, these spaces that we've been talking about. Automated sales, trading systems, legacy wealth. It's going to be wild. Seb, all you, man. Yeah, let's do it. Okay, Father, we just we just celebrate you this this morning, this evening, this afternoon, all across the time zones. God, we just we celebrate your faithfulness, your power, uh, your abundant ability to to go exceedingly and above all that we could ask for, think for, or imagine. And so we, we just celebrate that you're going to the next level already. We anticipate the next level, even in this session, God. You're taking us even further. We celebrate you. We welcome you. And come and do exceedingly and abundantly more than we can ask or think or imagine. In this session, bless these guys in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Fantastic. Well, Ty, I'm going to shift to, uh, I'm going to do this, I think. And will this work? Ah, oh, I didn't try all this out. <laughs> no. <laughs> all right we'll figure there it out uh i wonder if i how i can uh do this oh that's not it that's not it this is a new space trying to navigate this right we're going to go with this for now um but why don't you take it away i'm going to put on mute and uh you go for it ty cool cool man thank you so much guys thanks seb thanks benji well this evening like to be with you and excited really really excited I know that for the first time, some people are going to be hearing have completely changed my life, thousands of others, and really, really excited for people to be stepping into, yeah, maybe for the first time, this conversation of seven streams of income. And, you know, it was a new conversation for me not too long ago, but once you enter into this conversation and your eyes get opened, it's really easy to get really excited for what the future looks like. So I'm going to backpedal a little bit, share a little bit of story. and. And introduce these other world changes to share some of theirs. Yeah, guys, my name's Ty. I'm a pastor here in Auckland. Uh, my parents moved here from South Africa to start a church from scratch about 26 years ago from South Africa. And so I've been involved in that journey my whole life. You know, parents were you traveled the world doing ministry, all that stuff. And so I've been around for that and been really involved in the church my whole life. Um, did a worked in a sausage factory my first year out of high school. Um, another story for another time. But um, my granddad and my uncle had a company. A whole extended family is highly entrepreneurial. And so after that year, which was a year, I uh, did electrical apprenticeship, ran with that for a season, knew it was never going to be long term, but um, to be honest, it was pretty horrible. <laughs> like I learned some skills, but during that season, I was like, God, there's definitely something else for me. 
but he was building me through that and growing me and etc i learned a lot about new zealand and culture and people and um yeah phenomenal season but um long story short uh got made redundant started my own company for a bit ran with that for a few years working for myself importing and flipping supplements doing all sorts of little entrepreneurial things because it was in my family it was in me and then my wife and i got married and we moved over to northern california and spent three years in the bethel school of supernatural ministry watch plenty of, of stories i could go down on that but basically we spent of the first three years of our married life we had three year, three months of official employment so i'm very much living by faith and just you know running with god and that and it was amazing beautiful season and then in coming back to new zealand in 2015 I felt god really strongly say to us you know serve my mom and dad plug in at church do family and do church and don't start anything else don't start any businesses no side hustles it was it was really direct and so wanted to start a coaching business pretty bad because that would have been you know three figures an hour and that would have been wonderful on the side that would have really helped but um was obedient and so then you know six years worth of that season was getting real hungry and itchy for something more and then yeah i was just ready and um and and long, to cut the story a little bit shorter one night a leaders meeting at church uh dear friend of mine um or this a spiritual mom to us had an open vision of a whirlwind above my head with a signature in it and just felt like it was heaven's legal weighty approval for me to step back into the world of entrepreneurship and to start something specific with something entrepreneurial something with finance something with risk and something with gold and so that was the second of november 2020 and that just lit me on fire i got my green light i was good to go that's that's go so that actually then really started a season of just looking um for opportunities to dive into and five to six months worth of a lot of due diligence, looking at a whole lot of different things, four or five different things at the time. And then lifelong friend in Canada, uh, basically had been a part of this platform for a year, decided to get on the phone and let me know about it. And um, so he said, Ty, I don't know what you're up to right now. I know you're probably getting ready for church. So I just want to drop a quick line, say hi, but you have got to start looking into the financial markets and what's going on in crypto. Uh, we'll catch up later. It was like a little voice memo I'll never forget. And so I went, okay. It sounds exciting let's have a look so share me some more videos um my wife and i at the time were actually really close to launching a parenting vlog because we just we're, we're all about helping people get our biggest core value you know i believe to experience the fullness of love you need a foundation of freedom and so for us you know spiritual freedom mentally free physically free really involved in crossfit and um and yeah so in the midst of that though this financially free was starting to really resonate in the midst of this entrepreneurial word coming up and so at that point, you know, we felt God said to us strongly, slide that whiteboard back under the couch that we'd done it. We were ready to go with the parenting blog. He said, slide that whiteboard under the couch and run with this and watch the freedom that I create for you guys to do that and impact families in a much bigger way. So we're like, okay, let's go. So that was June. And, you know, I had a phone call. I'll never forget somewhere in the midst of these early days, I had a phone call with Mr. Richard Ustra, who you're going to hear from soon, on the 22nd of June last year. And, and that changed the entire trajectory for us. And so I remember joining this platform two days later, and it has been a ride. Um, 428 days and counting. Like I've been methodically journaling every single point of this journey because it's just... It's not just the freedom that it's creating for us. That's the, the most impactful part. It's the other people's lives. That's that's the thing for me. That gets me emotional, gets me excited. So it was crazy. When Rich was down the other day from Panama, we had a few people over and I didn't expect it, but tears started flowing in the midst of just having, you know, our tribe come together and just really talking about like the, the, the freedom that we're all starting to get, that it's so much bigger than any of us in the room. God's got a much bigger plan for a whole lot more people. And just feels really special to be in the midst of these conversations in the beginning so so yeah i dived in started learning in that first week realized like wow this content's incredible uh you can hear more about it soon but an education platform with a vision to educate empower and enrich the lives of a million people and so dived in started learning initially all about crypto that's where i really felt hungry to start learning and pretty quickly realized the content and i had some friends and family that needed to know about it so i told my brother about it a couple of my friends and so there was a little pod. We kind of created this little community that we're going to start learning together and start growing together. And, you know, that small group just grew and grew and grew and grew. And um, and we ain't stopping. We're just getting started. So it's been a phenomenal ride so far. And uh, I'm having the time of my life. Just, you know, we got to do a few live events last month when Rich was down here from Panama. Did one in Taupo with Michael down there and the team down in, in Taupo. And then did a big one up here in Auckland. It was so cool to have Benji drive up and be a part of that as well. Gemma was there. It was just such a fun time. Like we had you know, far more than double the people show up that actually registered and said they were coming. So it was just so fun to experience that level of hunger in the room, just people that are so excited to have these kinds of conversations, how to generate 
multiple streams of income and not be locked in a system. And so having an absolute blast, just feel like, yeah, God's all over this company, he's all over this conversation. And it's, it's just such an honor to be able to partner in this space and, and just bring more people into this conversation really and start thinking, to get them thinking bigger. And so actually, yeah, part of that for me, I'll do this. I'll show one quick slide um, called the Cashflow Quadrant. So most of you may know a guy called Robert Kiyosaki. He wrote a brilliant book called, you know, Rich Dad, Poor Dad. And I knew about that book for quite a few years and read pieces of it. I went to a seminar, learned a bunch about property. And that was the journey for me, thinking like property is going to be the way to do it. My parents have done well that way. But for a lot of us, especially in cities where it's expensive to get into the market, that's not necessarily the easiest first step. And so... Uh, his other book, Cashflow Quadrant, here talks about you know the different ways we all earn money. It talks about 95% of the population, most of us, having 5% of the wealth, and then 5% of the population having 95% of the wealth. And then broken down to these categories where you have employees and self-employed, which make up the bulk of that 95%, and then the 5% right there, 4% are entrepreneurs with big businesses, and then 1% are investors. And so we're on this journey of how do we move from one side of the quadrant to the other? How do we start to get our money to work for, for us so we're not just trading our time for money? So that cash flow quadrant right there was huge for me. When I started to hear more about this, and I highly recommend that book, um, absolutely phenomenal listening to that man talk. But um, yeah, that slide, I just want to show you that to give you a visual of what we're talking about because we're talking about developing the mindset of an investor and entrepreneur because mindset has so much to do with learning to actually get your money to work for you and stepping into these seven streams and beyond. So just wanted to show you that real quick, our next guest. But um thanks for Benji for putting that slide up there. We can we can throw that away for now. But um but yeah guys that that's been part of my story. I'm just getting started really. Like you know I'm 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 ahead of some but I've got I know where I'm going and it's so fun because I'm a part of a community that is learning and growing together. So like I said, my first six months were real deep in crypto. I spent hundreds and hundreds of hours studying that space from multiple different educators, some of the most profound educators in the world that teach privately on our platform, and um, and then transitioned over to the world of Forex and, and learning the foundations of trading in December, January. And again, put in a lot of hours, done a lot of time on the charts, but at the same time, this evening, you're going to hear from a veteran. So it is my great joy to introduce you to someone who I have got the most respect for, this man, you know, I've known his wife for, for a long time. I met Michael when he showed up to church a good few years ago now, but his wife was actually in Bethel with us. And so we sat together in first year for almost an entire year. So we're lots of history together. But um, yeah, Mike, just to give you guys some context, this man has been the vice president of another online trading um, university for years, was writing content there, managing that space, you know, worked in banks, also worked in, on the tools once upon a time as a builder. But, um, but yeah, worked in banks, banks has managed funds. He's been in this trading space for 20 plus years. You know, back then you couldn't just get a demo account. You were learning with real money and, you know, went all the way to Boston to actually open up a brokerage account back then. So he has seen it all, but, um, but it has been so fun to link up in this space and be able to learn from this mirror in the space of helping people step into this conversation, but very practically. And so, yeah, Michael's a part of my team here with the Academy. We're all working together and it's such an honor to be able to set him up for you guys to hear from this man tonight because he is loaded with gold. And I'm just so excited for you to see and experience and see the world of investing and trading through his eyes. So Mr. Michael Jacobson, I want to hand it over to you, my friend, to, to, yeah, to take us away from here. Let's go. Awesome. Thanks, Ty. That's an amazing introduction. I really appreciate that. And um, yeah, Benji, thanks for having us on to share what we do. And, um, you know, to my wife and I, seven streams of income is super duper important because um, it, it frees up so much more of our time. And actually, not only do we have seven, we've got another three or four that we're currently working on scaling up to. And um, for us, it's life changing. But for me, I got into the world of trading when I was in university. So my lecture actually dropped a very, very off the cuff remark about making $5,000 a night the night before um, one of his friends. And I thought, wow, is that possible to make that much in a night? $5,000? I think it was four or $5,000. So that really sent me on a, a discovery path to understand, look, if this is possible, I need to get into this world because what's the point working for $1,000 for a week if you can spend, you know, make $5,000 in one night? And that was over the course of three or four hours. So, um, yeah, actually ended up getting a broker account through Boston and uh, ended up losing multiple thousands of dollars. And basically for the same reasons that most people um, fail at trading from the beginning in the first place. And that was, you know, failure to have a proper education, 
failure to have a strategy, failure to have a plan, failure to understand risk management, and effectively just gambling. So lost lost multiple thousands of dollars and didn't give up. And I was still working in the bank at the time, worked for Westpac. So every payday, I would channel half of my funds back into my account and 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 would lose it and would lose it and would lose it. And back then, uh, we were trading off dial-up internet. So it was a bit of a nightmare. And I was learning how to trade through magazines. So there's only, I think, one or two trading websites available that had any credibility back then. And so I was just finding my way without a mentor, not having a clue what I was doing. And looking back now, um, I really value what Robert Kiyosaki said because he says, look, the most important thing that you can acquire for yourself in your financial journey is a financial education. If you don't get educated, you have no knowledge. And, um, you know, without knowledge, it just leads to destruction. So um, that was me basically destroying account after account after account. And, um, but not willing to give up because I saw the potential of trading and I knew people who were doing extremely well. So ended up getting into construction, um, finally started to have success with trading and started managing funds for personal clients and um, ended up doing a ton of missionary work overseas for a number of years and um, finally got a really good mentor and he helped me understand market structure. So instead of just approaching the market with one strategy for one time frame, he taught me to read the charts like a professional. So he he well, one of the, the key takeaways for me was that all of the markets are established as a game by the big players. So every market in the world is set up as a game for the larger players to liquidate your account. And so once I understood that, I realized if I'm trading, I'm trading with the winners or I'm trading with the losers. And there was a reason why 90% of traders lose 90% of the money in 90 days, which was me, was because I was not trading with the bigger players. I wasn't trading with the banks. I was effectively standing on the railway tracks in front of the train and getting run down every time. So my mentor taught me to identify when the banks were entering the market and then just trade with them and exit when they're exiting. So having the ability to identify those patterns um, gave me a massive advantage over other traders because I was just jumping to this river of money and that river of money was just flowing downstream and I was in the middle of that flow. So learning to understand market structure and having a mentor who could look over my shoulder and say, look, you're doing this wrong. You need to change this. Uh, you need to you know, um, um, adapt your risk to the current environment totally changed uh, my trading and went on to become one of the top traders at the university. And he said, look, can you start working for us and establish some courses? So starting creating my own courses. Um, but the problem there was the price point. So my my uh, mentor's course was 20,000 US dollars. Um, the course that I developed was 5,000 US dollars for three months. So the problem that I saw was that a lot of people wanted to come into a place of financial freedom and they would leverage themselves to the hilt to get the education but after the education they had no funds left to trade with so we're not really making them free because it takes time to learn and then if you haven't got money to trade with how do you even get ahead so my wife and i actually seriously thought about starting our own platform with a subscription-based model, um, basically sharing my course, my content, my mentorship to bring people in at um, a much lower cost. Then I got connected with um, IM Academy through uh, one, of our, um, one of our traders there. He connected me with Richard and Richard said, hey, look, we have this flat platform that is a subscription-based model where there's a ton of traders already here, vetted millionaires, um, 100 plus educators, and this is, this is possibly um, a great channel for you to begin to share more of your own abilities and skill sets as an educator. So we're still on that path for me to become an educator in the platform. But until then, um, working as a mentor, working as a leader, um, coaching a lot of the traders, working with students and becoming a business owner there as well. So our heart is really to create freedom for people. And what, what the Academy does, as Richard will share later, is it provides the possibility of a free education. 
which is unbelievable. So free education um, and the ability to coach and mentor our students where they're at, um, which is amazing. So for me, trading is the ultimate form of leverage. Um, as you've probably heard from previous speakers in the last few sessions, not only is it the ultimate form of money leverage, it's the ultimate form of time leverage. So with the Academy, we have strategies that can teach you to trade within minutes, or if you like to hold for longer, you can trade up, up to days. But learning to identify how the market works holistically and learning to read the chart and the language it's speaking to you um, gives you multiple opportunities. If you're someone who's wanting to invest in the market and hold for weeks or months, for example, in, in the crypto market, or if you're simply wanting to day trade every day and take out two to five percent a day, that's a possibility as well. So that's what I love about the education um, that we have with IM. I'm just going to share my screen here um, and just share a couple of thoughts on how we approach our trading and how we can actually learn to understand and read the market correctly. So type screen. Okay. Okay. So when we look at our chart, this is basically a Bitcoin chart, and there's a number of ways we can read the market. One way is we can read trends. And so if we serving averages on Bitcoin, it's very, very easy in a strong trend to make money. All you have to do is buy the pullback into the averages. It's simple. So in any market that you're trading, if there is a strong trend, which meaning if there is a lot of demand for that particular asset, if there are a lot of market participants with a very, very bullish um, uh, mood on, on the market, as Bitcoin was back in 2017, as it was back here in 2021, all you have to do is identify an uptrend or a downtrend and buy or sell the pullbacks into the moving averages. But the advantage that trading has over investing is that investors, if they buy, let's say they buy down here in this circle here, if the market goes up, they make money. However, if the market drops, all of their gains are wiped out. But the beauty with trading is that we can make money selling or buying. So if the market, if I believe the market is going to go up, I can buy it. And if the market goes up, I make money. However, what about when the market tops out? So from example, up here, Bitcoin topped out at $64,000. Now, if I believe the market's going to go down, I can sell at the top if the market market does what I believe or can buy it back on the cheap and I can pocket the difference. So the beauty with trading is that it gives you the ability to buy and sell. So even if the market's falling off a cliff, like the stock markets did the other day with the possibility of raising interest rates, markets absolutely collapse. So even if the market goes down, we can make money. So not only is it very, very simple to see that we have buying opportunities and trends, the market also gives us a variety of patterns to understand. And those sort of patterns, once we connect those patterns by using what we call market structure or trend lines, it's very, very easy to see that when price breaks out of these patterns, you often get a move or an explosion in price. So for example, here we had price being compressed in a very, very uh, a compressed zone for a long amount of time then all the energy is released, price explodes up. Same thing here, price is compressed into the region. What happens? It's telling us there are no sellers left in this market. And sure enough, once the last seller steps out, the buyer step in, you get a big green candle and, and price explodes. So looking through on this basic chart of Bitcoin, and this is extremely simplistic, there's a number of strategies we can use to say, look, this is a market that can be sold. We're having pullbacks into the moving averages. We're getting all of these patterns setting up, which tells us that the supply in the market is much more than the, than the demand. So every time we break through the market structure, there's a sell option. There's a sell option. Here's a sell option. So this is a very, very simplistic approach to looking at trading. However, what we do at the Academy is we overlay a number of other alternatives to actually increase the probability of our trade. Trading is not gambling, it's putting all of the odds in our favor by saying, if all of these conditions align, then we have a very, very high degree um, 
probability of success. So for example, with Bitcoin, and this is an example I use all the time, could we have foreseen that that was the top of the market at 68,000? Absolutely we could. It was extremely easy because when you look at a chart like this, which represents the demand and supply of a particular asset, each of these bars or candlesticks represent the psychology of the buyers or the sellers. So for example, this huge red candle here, that indicates that there were a lot of sellers in the market. However, when price came down to this level, the buyers pushed it back up. And that's evidenced by the huge long wick that you can see on the end of that candle. So these bars actually show the psychology of the buyers or the sellers. So back here when Bitcoin topped out, what we see was that we had already come into the previous high a year before, back here, that was the previous high. And so, so price spiked through the high initially. It then produced another high. But what happened on the momentum indicator, it was actually telling us that it was down for this. So what that's saying is that even though we are going higher in price on the second cycle, there are not enough buyers to sustain this move to push it higher. So if all the buyers step out of the market, there's only one group of people left, and that's the sellers. So one of these indicators, um, and this is a standard market industry indicator that's, that's free of use, but we overlay it with a, a, a number of more conditions that even increase our probability on the trade. What we simply do is wait for a break of market structure. Once market structure, straight, uh, once market structure breaks, we have a sell signal for the next two years. So we use things like energy. We look at the psychology of buyers and sellers, overlap with moving averages. Um, we also have a ton of um, proprietary signals that we use. For example, this we have in the academy that actually tells us opportunities to buy and sell. So for example, we see that we have right at the top there, you can see our red arrow that was one of the, the educators' um, strategies that he designed for the academy tells us exactly this is a place we're looking to buy. And as we come down, we see that we have another green arrow here. This is a place that we're willing uh, to buy. Here's a place we're willing to sell, buy. And so what we have is a number of conditions that we're overlaying on price to increase the probability that we have in every trade. And when all of those align, then it's no longer a coin toss. It's actually a, a comprehensive analysis of where price is going to go next. And it's actually extremely easy to buy the bottom of the market and sell the top because we're looking at what the psychology of buyers and sellers are doing. When we look at price, it tells a picture. It tells us, are people willing to buy here? Again, if, if we look back in this zone, we can see that price made a trip bottom. One, two, three. And after making that triple bottom, it failed to break the previous low. That tells us there are no more sellers in this market. Sure enough, price went straight up from there. The same thing happened back here. We have um, one of these strategies that we employ is Elliott Wave. When price makes uh, five waves up, we look for a three-wave reversal and we look to sell. And that's exactly what we had up here. That's exactly what we had up here. So there's a number of ways we can trade the market. You can simply trade trend line breaks in a falling market and you can make money everywhere, every time. In fact, if we just look at Ethereum, we can see the same thing. We have, we connect our swing loose we have a break of that market structure. We're now in a seller's market. The same thing back here on a slightly lower time frame. We had a, a break of the floor. As you can see very, very clearly, price has touched one time, two times, three times. But notice that every time price touches, we are making lower highs, lower highs, lower highs. And then once we break through that floor, there's no more buyers left. And price falls from 1690 all the way down to 870. 
Same thing happens to the upside. In fact, we had a great sell the other day. We have a trend, a strong trend for about a week. As you can see, we're making higher highs, higher highs, higher highs. Once that trend line is invalidated, we are now in a seller's market. The buyers have stepped out, indicated by the big red candles. Then we have, we can go down to a lower time frame. So you can trade off a high time, you can trade off a one minute chart, you can trade off a 60 second chart. As we can see back here, we had another trend line break there. And so what we learn to do as traders is we learn not only to put all the odds in our favor, but we learn to look for asymmetric reward to risk. So if I am wanting to enter up here, I'm looking to make at least two to one on my investment. However, if I get the market structure timing correct, I can put something like this in, which is a risk reward tool. I can sell at the top. I can then place my risk above the high. So what that means is I am willing to lose $1,000 on this trade. But if I'm correct, I could make $6,000. So this red box would represent my risk. And if price ran all the way down to where it is today, you can see here I'm making 4.5 to 1. So I'm risking $1,000 to make $5,500. Or I'm risking $100 to make uh, $450. So our goal as traders, as risk managers, we learn to minimize our risk. We look for, we look for a precise entry where a place um, in the market where the price is going to turn sharply and then we ride that momentum in the direction of that new trend and we look for asymmetric water risk now if i said to you would you give me a thousand dollars and i'll give you a thousand dollars back well it, that wouldn't make much sense would it because it's effectively one for one but if i say look i'll give you a thousand dollars if i give you a thousand dollars so you give me a thousand dollars and I'll give you twenty thousand dollars. Is that a good investment? Absolutely. And so what we learn to do in the market is we look for extreme places of support or resistance. We look for turning points. We look to ride trends like this. And imagine if you could identify when we had that initial break on the chain back in August. Let's just remove this line here. So we have a clear trend line. As you can see, price has been supported by this trend line for a week. Supported, supported, supported. So let's say you managed to sell a break of that trend line. And this is very, very simplistic trading, but you can make money this way. So you look for a break of that trend line. The break of the trend line occurs on that candle there. You then look for a sell entry. You want to keep your stop tight. So what you want to do is look for a previous swing high. And this was the previous high. So we want to have our stop loss just above there. And that means if price goes up and closes out our short-term investment, we only lose a small amount of money. However, if price goes in our favor as it did here. We're making five to one on that. But what if we manage to get our risk even smaller? If we can get a very, very small risk on a one minute chart, you can make 14 to one. So what we learn to do is keep our risk very, very small and look for asymmetric raw to risk. And we can even go down to a five minute chart. If you have the time to trade off a daily time frame, you can trade off a five minute time frame. And right now, what you can see is another trend line setting up. You can see the price is trading in the mean term above this trend line. What happens when it breaks this trend line? It probably will continue to move down further. Now, the reason for that is on a higher time frame, we can see them the entire market being down. Let's just remove some of these drawings. What you can see is the market is now trending down. But what would happen if we above this yellow line? That trend is now turned around. The sellers have stepped out of the market. The buyers are coming back in. Now the momentum is to the upside. And so what we learned to do as traders is look to understand this action on a number of different time frames. And if you're like Gemma and the people in her team, some of them are trading within one to 10 minutes. Some people are trading uh, within the hour. Some people are trading from week to week. So what I love about trading is that it provides 
an opportunity for whatever your lifestyle is. Whether you have only one hour in the evening, you can trade within one hour. If you have all day to trade, you can trade all day. But it provides opportunities for everyone, no matter um, what your lifestyle is. So that's a part of my journey with trading, learning to find a strategy that suits me, learning to um, follow a mentor who already has success, learning to understand risk management, and having a, 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 a target for what's possible with my investment. And I believe Ty is going to talk about that soon through the power of compounding. And that's where we can see that trading has a massive advantage over every other form of investing, because instead of bringing home 10% a year, as you would through investing in the stock market, you can bring home 10% in two days or a week in trading. So that's a bit of my journey. I'm going to give it back to you, Ty, and um, you can share um, some amazing stuff about compound interest and what else is, is possible in the academy. Bro, so appreciate you, man. I just love it how you break down the charts so beautifully, so simple. I feel like we've probably got a whole lot of people watching live who just saw charts for the first time and just had that epiphany of, this is not rocket science. Why has this not been shown to me all my life? <laughs> like, and um, and you just have that ability, man. Twenty years on the charts, it really, it really comes through, and it's such a delight to be able to learn from you, partner with you in this space, and um, and yeah, and just be a part of other people's uh, heart moments <laughs> when they see it through your eyes like that for the first time. So, like, it, yeah, for you guys that haven't heard of our, you know, compound interest before, there's the famous, you know, um, saying it's goes something like this. I'll probably butcher it, but those who don't know about it, pay it, and those who do know about it, usually earn it. And so what we're talking about here, making little little 2% a day or 10% or a week, whatever that looks like, I'm going to show you exactly what that looks like. I'll do another little screen share uh, quickly, Benji, of my um, one other window over here. Let me just push the button, see if this is going to work. I want to do, let's see if I can pull up. I'm just going to pull up the right tab because I don't I've got, um Oh, yeah, that's the one I want. Where is it? No, that one. There we go. Can are you guys see that it's just a, there we are, a compound interest plan so guys this is a super easy compound interest calculator any of you can come here and mess around and this is what i encourage all the guys on our team to do because this actually creates high amount of vision which will motivate you to be highly disciplined when you can see what one or two percent a trading session actually looks like over time so um i want to just keep I wanna this, keep this. Just jump in here for a second time yeah, go for it, go for it. everyone know this is what we're talking about when we say legacy wealth Right. Mm -hmm. Legacy wealth is uh, it's just so connected to compounding returns. Now, I love uh, real estate. I love all the other types of things like you know that you've got, but you hold your breath for what Ty's about to share with you for the power of compounding returns because there's nothing like it. Mm. Yeah, man. So true. Thanks. Thanks. Thanks for bringing that up. It's it is that right. I mean, you know, property is brilliant. But you know, you, you might double your money there in 10 years, but A, you've got to get into the market. B, you've got to get into a position to have more than one. And Robert Kiyosaki would also say that two is actually the most risky amount of properties to have as well, if you start going really down that track. So this is an incredible space where you can come in here, learn how to do this, and significantly compound your wealth. So this daily compound interest calculator, I'm gonna keep this real low and conservative. 100, say you were starting with $100 when you, when you transition to trading with real money and you can practice on fake money in a demo account until you're ready to transfer to real money. But say you started with $100, let's say, um, let's go with two, uh, let's go with 3% a day uh, across a year. And I'll show what this looks like. Cause 3% a day is, like look once you're doing this for a decent amount of time that is not, that's very realistic there's people in our team that have been doing this for a year to 18 months that are making 15 percent a week which is the same as this three percent a day if you're trading five days a week so three percent a day uh let's say we don't want to include weekends we just want it to be that total um where are we one where's one year what did i just do one year let's see what this puts me out um a hundred dollars across a year turns into you can see it there two hundred and twenty four thousand dollars guys and look, let's keep it honest. Let's keep it really real. You're not going to be making 3% a day every single, you're not going to have perfect weeks back to back to back to back to back when you're starting out. But once you learn the skill, guys, you, you don't just have 3% days, you have 10% days. You might actually have, uh, and I'm all about under promise over deliver, but you can see here, you can look at what it looks like on a month where, you know, your first month is 100, your second month is 209, and then your balance goes to 389. And a few months down the track, it's, oh, look, it's nine grand. Look, it's 17. And this is where compounding really kicks in. 
34, 66, 124, 224. And, and that is 3% a day. And um, I'm going to show you, even right now, if you can still see my screen, that was a trade that our scanner pulled off a moment ago on Bitcoin where the signal popped off. And you can see that this risk reward, like Mike was talking about, that to put that risk reward of two means we're right here. Seeing, we, um, we're still seeing the compound. Oh, okay, it hasn't swapped over. That's cool. I'll change the I'll change the share quickly if I do this because while while that trade is still there, if I do this and click Chrome and go to pivot, that's the one. There we go. Now you can see that. Can you see my? There we go. There we go. So guys, this is one of those scanners that we're talking about, which you know we'll share with you in a minute. I just want to show you while it was live because this is happening right now. You can see the time at the bottom there is let's flick this into new zealand time right there so i'm just oh, there we go let's zoom into where we are so right now you can see at the bottom down there it is 8 24 p.m on the 28th of august down here that signal popped off there at 801 if you entered the trade right there where the red meets the green you would have risked in this red box you would have risked only two percent of your account but you can see our strategy is two to one. Look where the target was. That blue line was waiting for us as soon as that little triangle popped off. And that trade ran, you can see, right to that target, a little bit beyond. And we're not greedy. That's a good place to jump out. So if you risked 2% there, you would have made 4% on account growth just on that one trade in the last 24 minutes. So just wanted to show you that. Um, and we'll come back to that. But I uh, just want to show you while it's happening in the background, Sunday night here, you could be making money. 4% right there. So I am going to, where am I? Go back to that compound interest calculator for a second. Oh, I don't have to. You guys had a good look. You can see that $100 turns into 224K in a year. It, once you get to that point of being successful, and that's that's a journey. And you know, that might, for some people, that happens in a few months. For some people, that actually takes a year. It all depends on, on your personal wiring, the level of discipline. Obviously, this is like the gym to some degree. If you don't show up, you're not going to get ripped. <laughs> so it's, you know, it, you get what you put into it. But um, that's just an example, guys. If when we talk about compounding, you don't have to start with 10 grand. You can actually start really, really small and risking on $100, you're only gonna be risking $2 to make four. And, and that's gonna feel really insignificant when you're showing up and spending like maybe 20 minutes to an hour on the charts. I made $4. But you zoom out and go like, I made 4%. And then when you look at a calculator across a year, what 4% looks like on a daily, you can lean back and be like, I know where the story ends in a year from now, and et cetera. Where does the story end two years, three years, five years from now? That is a completely different equation for a lot of us. And so, yeah, I just wanted to give you that a um, little bit of a taste for what we're talking about. We're talking about compounding. So, Mike, once again, thank you so much for sharing your heart, man. There's, there's, there's so much. I th like Every time I hear you, I just want to go into full note student mode, and I could sit here for hours, man. But um, but this evening, I know we've got people for the first time that are hearing about this. So I have got such a privilege right now to introduce you to an absolute powerhouse lady, guys. So Gemma and I go way, way back. She used to cut my hair about 12 years ago. She used to work with my wife in a salon here in Howick. And um, it is just such a beautiful story how our paths have crossed again here. And so, you know, Gemma's got a story of also getting plugged in and starting with the Academy. Pretty similar time to me sometime early last year, I believe, somewhere April-ish. You can clarify that. But um, got plugged in, got learning, learned how to trade. You know, she's a mom with two young kids and, um, and her husband, Christian, was just doing the thing, working hard. But she had a vision to get her man back at home with her kids. And so I don't want to tell more of her story, but she has created an incredible freedom story that I just can't wait for you to hear because whatever you celebrate in other people's lives, you can replicate in your own. And so it is a huge honor for me to have the privilege of introducing Gemma to you this evening. Gemma, take it away, my friend. Awesome. Can you guys hear me? Yeah, perfectly. Yeah. Okay. So excited to be here with you guys tonight. So a little bit about my journey on how I came into IM Academy. So I've been on this entrepreneurial journey for a few years, tried multiple different things and just never really found that thing that gave me both time and financial freedom. So shortly after I had my kids, I opened up my own salon, which was amazing. Like straight away, doubled my income, had flexibility to work around schedules and all of those types of things. But Shortly after doing that, I realized like my kids are sick or anything happens, I don't make money, right? And during that path, I was like, okay, this is great, but I always have to trade my time for money. But as I was on this journey, I really started to read books and listen to podcasts and really started to surround myself with people 
who were living the lifestyle that I wanted right? So as I was connecting with these people, I started hearing different things like leveraging your money and compounding and multiple streams of income and all these things that I was like, wow, this is like a whole nother language to me, right? But that's kind of how my journey came across I Am Academy. And honestly, I'm not going to lie to you. When I first kind of got introduced to trading, I was like, okay, I'm a hairdresser by trade, never looked at a chart in my life, sucked at maths at school. So I was like, how am I going to do this? But at the same time, I was like, you know what? Like, I love a challenge. Let's do this. And so I went home and I was like to my husband, okay, we're going to learn day trading. And he was like, Gemma, like seriously, day trade. Like, do you know what that is? And I'm like, yeah, like it, you know, we can do this. And he was like, oh, out of everything you can do, we're going to do this. But at the same time, during that phase, we had already started investing into crypto and NFT. So we were already kind of investing in that space and not really actually knowing what we were doing. So we're like, cool, this gives us a package deal of we can actually learn what we need to do in those financial markets as well as learning trading. And during this time, right, like this is when my two kids were young. I kind of just recently opened my own business, my own salon, and my husband was working six days a week. So it was like time for us was so precious. But on the flip side of that, that was my main driving factor, right? I was like, when I envisioned becoming a parent or living my life, this was not what I envisioned. Like my husband being gone six days a week, I felt like a single parent. We were juggling multiple balls, right? So that kind of gave me that, just that courage to go, you know what, let's just go for it. So I had my earpods in, in between clients and kids naps and all of that. And I was listening to the educators and my husband would come home and I'd be like, okay, this is what I learned and we'll just start demo trading. And that's kind of how this whole journey started. It was like, I was listening, we were demo trading, we'd started doing more investing and that's really how this whole thing started. And then I started on the business side as well because I was like, why would I not? Multiple streams of income, let's go. And a year later was when we were at the point where we we're like, okay, we can now, he was able to leave his job I closed my salon and we'd literally just spent like we've just finished now, but had just spent the last six months traveling New Zealand in a caravan with our two young kids, like no schedule, just go. And it was really that like pinch myself moment of, you know, so many people go through their entire lives and never do something like that. And we just felt so grateful that not only were we able to do that, but we were able to do that with our kids being so young. You know, it gave us that opportunity as a family to just really bond and reconnect. Because when my daughter was first born, it was like, my husband was like, boom, had to go back and grind it out because it really is so hard in today's age to live off one income, right? And so it was just it was just incredible for us to have done that. We've just settled back into our home now, so we're feeling a little bit more like grounded. But yeah, I just feel so blessed and excited because throughout this whole journey, you know, now coming up to a year and a half, I still feel like, this is just the beginning of what's to come, like with trading, the business, investments, like mindset, just everything. I still feel like I'm at the really beginning phases of all this and just feel so incredibly excited. And like I say, just blessed to be around people like all these guys tonight, right? Like this is the proximity of people that we get to be around on a daily basis, you know, and to see the vision of where this company 
and where each and every single one of these individuals want to take their life, it really just empowers you to feel like, you know what, this is just so, so, so exciting. So that's my little journey of kind of where I started, where I'm at, and where we're still going with all of this. So thank you so much for having me on tonight and letting me just share my little snippet of what my journey inside I Am Academy has been like. So I'll hand it back over to you, Ty. Man. Gemma, thank you so much. For those of you watching live, drop some love in the chat for this powerhouse lady. Gemma has got such a huge heart, not just to you know, create the freedom for her own family, but also everyone else. And I love that you know you touched on some of that, Gemma, about you know the people you surround yourself with. Because that's the thing. When you get into the space, we had a similar experience. We dived in, learned for ourselves for a bit, and then realized this is worth telling my brother about and my best friends. And so we've each been able to help people, you know, step into the space, which is crazy amazing because I've never in my life been aware of this, this type of an industry where you get paid incredible residual income just for referring people to something. And they're not paying me directly. They're just, we're just referring people to financial Netflix. And because of that, that's another stream of income that we get to partake in. And it's incredible. It's like, it really blows my mind. Um, and it's been so fun to watch your journey. I remember the day when we were both on Instagram kind of realized with each other, like, hey, we're both doing this thing. What the heck? And, and it's been so fun just to like watch the fire build and the teams build and the people and the energy and the stories that people are stepping into freedom with us. It's just so fun. And that thing that you said as well, and this will be the perfect, perfect segue into introducing Richard to you guys, because, you know, you talked about the people you surround yourself with. And there's this famous line where, you know, it's something along the lines of we're the average of the five people we spend the most time with. And, and you could say you're the average, you know, your conversations, your dreams, your visions, your finances are probably going to all be the average of those five most frequent interactions and people. And the only way to upgrade that mostly is to radically upgrade your community and your mentorship. And so for me, that's why I'll never forget the 22nd of June, because that's the day where I got introduced to this man. And, um, and from there, I just realized like, man, this guy is special. He is not just helping thousands of people in this space and leading a team of thousands all over the world. He's a phenomenal leader. He like, he's actually like, cause I've studied coaching. I've been in the coaching space. Like he listens really well. His mindset is off the charts. He's got, he's already living the life of success that I can, I can see like, I want a piece of that basically. And I just saw someone who was running and I thought, you know what? I'm going to lock him behind this man and I'm going to get all that I can for just getting close and pro having proximity. I believe success comes a lot from proximity. You, you have to hang out with five broken, depressed people. You're probably going to be number six. So a part of this was me getting close with Rich was I, I just got connected to him. And in the midst of that, dived into the academy, started learning. And then, you know, there's this, he's an absolute genius when it comes to this world of digital entrepreneurship. And, um, and so I'll let him tell the story, but guys, I want to set this up properly because this man really is, he's, he's leading a team of thousands all over the world. And he could share story after story after story of lives that have been changed, millions that have been made, all of that. But when it comes down to it, he's just a really great friend to me and an amazing business partner. And so I'm really, really privileged to introduce you to Mr. Richard Ostra this evening. Go for it, man. Wow, wow, wow. What an amazing introduction, brother. Thank you so much. Can you guys hear me okay? Am I coming in loud yeah. and clear? Yeah, good. Okay, fantastic. Uh, well, it is, uh, it's a pleasure to be here, man. And Ty, I have to hand it back to you, man. I mean, um, you know, you, you are um, the, the type of person that all of, all of us um, would, would dream of working with, you know, and I could say that about Michael, I could say that about Gemma, Benji, Seb, all you guys. I mean, if I'm the average of the five people that I'm spending time with, I think right now in this moment, I'm doing pretty, pretty dang good. But, um, you know, I, I'm, I'm really blessed to be here with you guys. I mean, I, I did not grow up um, as a digital entrepreneur. I, I did not grow up in a household that, uh, that, that taught me any of this stuff. And so like Gemma was talking about personal development and and going on a journey, um, I've been on a journey as well. And, and I just got back from a, a trip around the world. Um, I'm excited for this call because we've got California, New Zealand. Uh, we've got, I'm down here in Central America and Panama right now. It's almost 4 a.m. But if you're in the chat right now, if you're watching live, drop in the chat where you're actually calling in from uh, or where you're watching this from because uh, that'd be amazing to see where everybody's at. But 
you know, I, I grew up, guys, I, I was born in Canada. I, I spent part of my childhood in South Africa. I was raised between South Africa and Canada. Uh, moved down to the States, actually, straight out of high school and then back to Canada. And I was really on this on this path of trying to figure it out, right? Trying to figure out what I wanted to do. And um, I grew up in, in, in school working on farms, working on construction sites, um, really trading time for money. That's what I was doing when I, when I grew up because that was, I lived in a really small town in, in, in Northern Canada. There wasn't a lot of options, right? I think I started working in a restaurant, uh, a new restaurant that opened in our town when I was 16. Um, you know, working the breakfast shift, you know, pouring coffee and, and serving people food, you know, and, and that's really, that, that's really where I started, um, you know, but as I started to try different things um, and, and figure it out, I, I started journey. I'm seeing, man, I'm seeing some amazing places in the chat here. Um, I love it, guys. I love it. So I went on this journey of, of really trying to figure out what I want to do with my life. And, you know, I, I, I got to a point where I realized I wanted to start my own business because I thought that going from employee to self-employed was the, the solution. I thought that would be um you know a way for me to have more control more freedom more opportunity and so i started a construction business when i was 24. i didn't love the construction industry i just love the idea of being a business owner and what happened was is that i realized that i actually needed to now work twice as much and being self-employed actually gave me less time to do what i wanted to do and so uh thank god um that i had uh, a life-changing moment actually about six months into that business that actually catapulted me completely in a different direction i ended up going into the financial business uh full-time and i got recruited into that industry and i started learning about how money worked i started to learn about residual income and i started to learn that residual income is is an option it's something that i could create i just needed to know how i needed to have the right information and so I started learning from people that um, had gone before me and gone before all of us, the greats of, of you know, the, the past, people like, you know, Napoleon Hill, people like, you know, Dale Carnegie, people like Earl Nightingale, you know, people like W. Clement Stone. And I started studying these people's lives and I ended up now I study someone named Bob Proctor, who I, I'm sure some of you guys know of. But I started learning about things in, in, in a different way and seeing this amount of success that could be created um, with, with really just following a certain path. And like Ty touched on it with proximity and Gemma touched on it with, you know, personal development and studying and reading, you know, and, and, and Michael, you know, touched on it with mentorship, you know, and all the different things. There, there's, a, there's a success puzzle that you can follow, right? And so I've been un unwrapping that and, and, and pulling different things out of that now for since 2014. And so now it's 20, uh, 2022, right? And I want to share with you guys um, an affirmation. This is actually a Bob Proctor affirmation. And I have these big sheets written all over my house. If you came into my house, you'd think I'm a crazy person. But literally, you know, if, if you go into someone's house, do you see a picture of their past? Do you see pictures of their past or do you see pictures of where they're going? Right. I want I want to challenge you guys with that, because if you have pictures of where you're going and you have affirmations and things that are going to that are going to inspire you and put your mind in a, in a, in a vibration, put you in a vibration of, of what you're trying to attract life changes. Right. So the affirmation says, I'm so happy and grateful now that money comes to me in increasing quantities from multiple sources on a continuous basis. All right. So I want you guys to write that down. Someone can put that in the chat. That would be amazing. But I'm so happy and grateful now that money comes to me in increasing quantities from multiple sources on a continuous basis, right? So this is an affirmation. This is something you can speak. And this ties into this, 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 um, you know, the, this session that we're doing and what Benji's put together. Um, you know, I met Benji on a, on a pretty special day, actually. Uh, I did a post about it the other day um, of, of, you know, just that opportunity to come down to New Zealand. But I met... Benji, I met some of his team, and I can tell you that um, this guy's the real deal, right? So I'm excited to be here. Thank you guys so much. But prior to coming into this company, I just want to fast forward to, to 2019 from where I started in my story. 2019, I'm going to tell you guys how I got into this company because prior to this company, you know, I had been on this, this roller coaster of, of entrepreneurship, starting businesses, trying to figure it out. And I was at a point where 
I really had a lack of fulfillment. I had a lack of, of time. I was, I was working a lot of hours at, in my consulting business. I had a lack of community. And really, I was bored. I, I felt like I had a lack of increase. I wanted to have more increase. I wanted to go faster. But I had this, this all these kind of these holes, right, in, in my life. And I'll never forget the day that I got a call from, from a friend of mine and Greg. And he said, I'm driving to your house. I'm going to be there in three hours. He'd already left Vancouver. He was driving to my house uh, close. I was living up near Osoyoos, BC. And he walks into the do front door. He has a MacBook and he puts it on the table and he says, you got to watch this video. Like no hello, no hey, long time, no see, nothing like that. Just literally sets it down and opens it up and presses play, right? He's a professional. He knows what he's doing, right? So he shows me this video and I go, man, this makes a lot of sense. What this gentleman is saying in this video makes a lot of sense. He was talking about trading and investing in education. He was talking about, you know, residual income, but he was also talking about things like faith and vision and, 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 and a community and really a common goal that the company was working towards to empower people. And I was like, man, um, th this makes sense to me and, and I want to explore this. So I jumped on a plane and I went down to Dallas, Texas, um, four days later, I think it was. And I ended up in a, in a room with about 6,000 people. And I got to experience something that I never experienced before. I got to feel emotions that I had never felt before. And I got to see people that, that looked just like me and looked like all the people that I know right? People from all over the world, different ages, backgrounds that were having success in this, in this company. And I also got to hear Bob Proctor speak one of the last times he spoke um, in, in his life uh, in public. It was really, really, really a powerful thing. But that experience kind of catapulted my mindset into, okay, there's so much that's possible here. And I caught the vision, right? I believe that vision is caught. It's not taught. You have to catch the vision. Right. And I caught the vision of our company, and that's to empower, enrich, and educate the lives of a million people around the world. And I decided that day, I made a decision. So I want you to, I want you, as I'm going to show you guys a few things here, I, I, I want you guys to understand that since that time, all right, since 2019, September, which is coming up next month, my three year anniversary in this company. I now have an abundance, okay? I went from a lack to abundance and I went. I now have an abundance of time freedom. I have an abundance of, of strong leadership in my life, strong leaders that I can follow, um, obviously community, but contribution and growth, right? I was, really, I was really feeling that lack of fulfillment and now I have this immense amount of, of fulfillment from the contribution and the growth that I get to experience and to participate in, which creates happiness uh, in my life, right? If you study Tony Robbins, he says happiness is contribution and growth. So that's what I've been able to find here. And now also it's led to an, a life of adventure and travel and, and impact. So I want you uh, guys just to understand my life has been transformed inside of this company. And that's what that's what we do here. We, we, we talk a lot about trading. We talk a lot about travel and transforming and all these different things. But I'm a I'm a living testimony of, of what um, this opportunity has done for, for somebody. So I'm going to share with you guys here my screen. Let me know that it, uh, that it comes up okay, Benji. And uh, I'm just going to show you guys a few things because I want you to understand, you know, really what it is that we're doing. Um, you know, what is that is what's in it for you, right? I want you guys to understand what's in it for you because this is ultimately about giving you an opportunity, giving you and your family an opportunity to, to become a part of something that's much bigger than you and to be a part of something that um, is creating a, a ripple effect, right? Like if you throw a, a stone into water, right? If you throw a stone into a lake, right? Or, or if you're like me and you're at the hole in one in Taupo, you don't drain it like Ty, you actually hit it into the lake and it creates a ripple effect, right? <laughs> So, so guys, the, 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 the impact and the ripple effect and, and really the movement that's been created around the world is significant. But Ty touched on the cash flow quadrant earlier. Guys, it's about getting people, getting you into the 5% being, being investors and business owners, right? So our company is almost 10 years old. 
now we're, we're in our ninth year. Um, we've done over a billion dollars in revenue, right? We're not a small company. We're not a startup company. Uh, we got customers all over the world. There's already been over a million people that have come through and been trained in the company. And we're one of the largest online, if not the largest online learning platform in the world. So what's really the secret weapon of, of what we do? Um, this is this is what I want to share with you guys is, you know, you can go buy courses online. You can go buy education online. It seems like every guru out there online is selling a course or something, right? But what separates our company and what separates this academy and this community is the go live uh, platform. Now, this is like Zoom, right? We're on Restream right now. You can go on Zoom. You can go on different platforms. We created a platform called Go Live that can handle tens of thousands of people at a time. I've been on calls with almost 30,000 people live at one time on our platform. And you get real-time mentorship from professional educators, right? So instead of just looking and saying, I'm going to go watch a course or I'm going to go watch something and, and see some recorded videos, or maybe I'll get to be on a live call with an expert once a month or once a year, because it's normally extremely expensive to get that access, like Michael talked about, you get access to over 100 full-time educators. I think we're pushing 200 now, right, that you can connect with. You can collaborate with them, meaning you can see what they're doing and you can actually say, hey, I'm going to go do that too. Right. So hey, this is again, hey, this Rich, is an I just, um, I just wanted to jump in there and just check. Are you are we meant to be scrolling through these slides? Because it's stuck on the first one. If you were. Is it, is it stuck on the first one? Well, yeah. So it's on the first one. So I'm not sure if you're. If, yes, that's changing it. That's working to change it. Yeah. It was just on the first one. So I was just right. checking if in I case you. Screen, if I go full screen and I thumb through, are you seeing me thumb through them or not? Not seeing you go through it right now, but it was moving just All a right. second ago. Whatever you're doing a second ago, that's doing it. No worries. That's moving. No worries. We're going to go like this. Yep, that's it. All right. So sorry, guys. It's going to be a little bit smaller than I was hoping, but we'll make it work. Hopefully you guys can still see it. Yeah, um, no, that's good. That's good, man. All right. All right. So back back to what I was saying. Thanks, Benji. Back to what I was saying, guys, is that, you know, you, you get to connect, collaborate, and collaborate with these educators in a way that I've never personally seen before. I don't know of, of any other company that has hundreds of professionals. These are professional traders. These are professional um, educators, professional investors, people that are trading in all different markets, Forex, crypto, commodities, stocks. Um, to give you an example, right? We have a lady named Carolyn Borden who's actually launching our Stocks and Futures Academy on the 7th of September. That's like a week away. Um, she's, she's one of the, the people that Michael actually um, has learned from in the past, right? This is somebody that's been on Bloomberg, CNBC, Mad Money. Like this is somebody that's been in the financial markets for like 25, 30 years. And she has come to our company to say, hey, I want to launch the greatest stocks and futures academy ever made, right? That's the type of caliber of people that we're attracting, right? So when you look at the, when you look at the, um, the ability, the proximity to be able to ask these types of people questions, learn from them, and ultimately to succeed, um, I, there's nothing else out there like this. Now, the mentorship is not like, it's not like school where, you know, the bell rings, you got to sit in your seat. And if you're late, you know, you go to the principal's office because that was me <laughs> growing up. All right. I was a terrible student. Um, I, I, heard, I heard a quote a long time ago and it, it totally set me free. And it was that formal education will make you a living. Self-education will make you a fortune. Right. And I believe that when it comes to investing, the first investment we have to make is not in the market. It's actually in us. The first investment you're going to make as an investor is in you. So investing a couple hundred dollars to get into something that's going to give you this type of access, absolutely insane, right? Now, here's, here's kind of how it breaks down is you have the ability to learn and earn on the go, meaning you get to learn on the go. You can take your smartphone. I travel all over the world. You can, you can take this thing with you anywhere you go. It doesn't matter what time zone you're in, what country you're in. But you can always watch the recorded sessions as well. So if you miss an opportunity for a live session, you can jump on and watch them all recorded in your back office on demand. All right. Now, the other thing about this, as far as staying connected, 
and, and staying connected to the team and the community, right? We do events all over the world. So we just did an event in Auckland with uh, this beautiful crew that you see right here. Um, we did we did a big event in Florida in the spring. We, I've done events in Canada this year. There's been events happening in the States. There was another event in Houston. We're about to do an event in Arizona coming up. Guys, the, the whole idea behind this is community and allowing you to stay connected and stay plugged in. Because if you stay plugged into this community, if you stay plugged into this academy for a long enough period of time, you will have success, right? This is like learning a new language for a lot of us. This is, this is for most of us, right? This doesn't happen overnight. But if you stay plugged in, it's like your phone. You got to plug it in and charge it, right? You're going to start to, to power yourself up to actually go out and say, hey, you know what? I'm gaining confidence in this. I found a strategy that works for me. I have a team around me to help me learn. And that's the beauty of it. You know, three years into this, um, I'm consistently trading now. I've found my, my, my lane with trading. Four days a week, I trade less than an hour a day. And I trade on a one minute chart and I trade indices. Now, if you don't know what any of that means, don't worry, right? But here's the thing is that I've been able to stay in this, in this environment that's allowed me to learn these skills. But along the way, I've been able to earn a very, very high income, right? So how does that actually work? I'm going to show you what that, that looks like in a second. But first of all, um, here's how it works to get started. So you can pick one of the academies to get started. It's normally $235 to get started for your first month. This is the U.S. funds. Whoever uh, got you onto this call or whoever sent you the recording of this call, whoever got you the invite for this can get you a link right now that can get you $50 off that price, meaning that you can actually get, uh, uh, we have a promo running right now that can actually get you the initial month for just $185, all right? 185 bucks gets you access. So whether you want to trade Forex, whether you want to do crypto, whether you want to learn different strategies with time-based trading, um, you know, we have, we have it all. We have the best of the best. We have it all. So uh, it's 175 per month ongoing after that to continue to get access to the academy, to continue get, to get access to the pros and the community. So what does that look like? It breaks down to $6 every single day. All right. So $6 a day. You can get access to this. Now, what if you wanted to uh, take it to the next level, right? And this is what Michael was talking about earlier when he said that you can actually, we can actually show you, we can show people how to get access to this for free. This is something that for him was a big light bulb moment. I remember the conversations we were having. We were talking on Zoom. I was living in Costa Rica last year and him and I were having these, these conversations every month or two, just kind of he was getting a feel for what we were doing and really trying to feel, you know, feel it out and say, is this something that I want to, to come and be a part of? And when we had the conversation about, you know, two and free and a way to actually help people then even earn money while they're learning this, he was blown away, right? So if you were a customer and you just refer two active people on the same package as you, right? So let's say you start on Forex, okay? You, you go in and you refer two friends. You say, hey, come learn this with me. Come do this with me. Let's make some money together. Let's, let's go on this journey together. Your monthly subscription now will not bill on your credit card. It will not bill out of your crypto wallet or however you paid for this, this education. It's not going to bill. It's called two and free. I like to call it the scholarship program, right? So if you want to go on scholarship, all you have to do is open your mouth open up your text messages, whatever it is, get on the phone, grab a couple of friends, and you're now getting free access, you're on a scholarship, all right? So I saw this for the first time in 2019, and I was blown away too, because I have seen people spend tens of thousands of dollars or more on this type of education. I was like, wow, this is the most generous opportunity I've ever seen in my life. Now, um, I'm the kind of person, and I know Ty is like this. I, I'm pretty sure Benji's like this, and and um, you know, I, I'm not gonna start naming names, but I like to go to the next level. We like to go to the next level, right? And the next level when it comes to this opportunity is to actually not only become a student, but become an influencer with this opportunity. And so for me, when I, when I was sitting in that room in 2019 and I saw this part and this really spoke to me and I saw people 
that were walking across the stage, that were speaking, that were earning a thousand, two thousand, five thousand, ten thousand, twenty five thousand, a hundred thousand dollars per month by sharing this with other people as they were learning, as they were actually becoming professionals in the in the financial markets, I was like, whoa, like I, I, I'm like this, this is what I want to do. This is how I want to build an income for me and my family. But this is also how I want to help impact other people. Because remember, I had a massive lack of fulfillment when I started in this business. I had a lack of community, right? So I'm like, here's a way to grow a community, be a part of the community and get a, an immense amount of fulfillment by just sharing this and giving people opportunity. Right. I believe that the best, most powerful thing in life we can give people is opportunity. So here's how it works is if you upgrade to be an influencer, it's called an independent business owner. You introduce three people instead of two. You can now grow an unlimited network around the world promoting this academy to customers. So what does that mean? An unlimited network around the world. That means if you live in India, if you live in Africa, if you live in Barbados, if you live in the UK, if you live in France, you live in Panama, you, it doesn't matter where you guys live, okay? You can refer people, you can connect people, and they can connect people, and they can connect people, and you can grow a network of customers, all right? Now, you can start earning this residual income literally your second week in the business. So you get started today, two weeks from now, you can start earning this, this income. What does that do for you and your family when you grow a team of three to a team of 12, and now you're earning $600 US a month, right? I think down in New Zealand, that's about $1,000 a month. What if you could take some of that money and you could put it into the financial markets and start compounding it like Ty talked about? What if you could put it into a crypto portfolio when the markets are down, buy some good projects and sit on those and watch that grow? What if you could take some of that money and you can invest it in yourself, your personal development, your mentorship, your education, the things that you need to do to get to the next level. Entrepreneurs and investors need cash flow, right? If someone could put the word cash flow in the chat, that's what this is. This is the entrepreneurship side of the 5% is generating cash flow through a system. Now, cash flow allows you to be a successful investor. It allows you to be a successful trader. It allows you to grow your business as an entrepreneur, all right? So when you grow that to a team of just 30 people, now you're earning $1,000 every single month, US, coming into your bank account, coming into your, your, your crypto wallet, however you want to get paid. You can get paid in Bitcoin. You can get paid in, in, in USD. You can get paid however you want to get paid. All right? And I know this slide is probably a little bit small for you guys to see uh, on this because of the way my screen is set up. But let me just tell you, there's no cap and no limit on this residual income, all right? There's people in our team personally earning 2,000 a month, 5,000 a month, 10,000, 25,000. There's people in our team right now earning 50,000 a month and there's people earning 10 times that. Now, past results do not equal future profits, all right? People earning 10 times that in the company have been at this working hard for years, all right? But what I'm here to tell you is that we have a system in place to take you into the investing side. We have a system in place to teach you how to start trading, how to start learning the markets. We also have a system in place to take you into this side. If you wanna build residual income and you wanna share this with other people, we have you covered as well, all right? So back to you know the, the top here, I just wanna say, you know, um, I'm, I'm getting excited just talking to you guys and just you know going through this every time I share this information, it gets me excited because I think about where I was three years ago and I think about where the people in our team were six months ago, a year ago, two years ago, three years ago, and, and, and what this has done for them. This is a vehicle, you guys. This isn't a, a magic pill. This is a vehicle to get you to where you want to go, whether it's more time with the family, whether it's more time to do the things you want to do, whether it's the ability to travel, the ability to you know create total freedom in your life. That's what our team is about is freedom. So I'm going to go ahead and just kind of wrap this thing up by saying, you know, at the end of these types of presentations, all right, there's always, you know, there's always three types of individuals. All right. So the first type of person, you know, you're looking at this and you're like, man, I don't know if this is for me right now, but this looks amazing. Right. And if that you, 
thank you for investing your time with us because time is the most valuable currency in the world and and we appreciate you being there if you're person number two you're like man you know th this is something that i want to do i think i want to get started i just have a few questions so that i can get some clarity on exactly what it is that where where i need to start which package i need to pick and if that's you the person who got you here can help you get those questions answered and, and get connected with you in a chat or on a call um, and we'll get you sorted, right? And if you're person number three, you know, you're, you're looking at this and you're going, man, this is exactly what I uh, need to do next with my life. This is, where, this is where I was. This is where Ty was when he saw this, right? Certain people, you're going to see this and maybe it's you and you're looking at this and you're going, this is what I've been waiting for in my life. This is the opportunity. This is the vehicle I want to use to go out and fulfill my purpose in life and, and create that future for me and my family. So if that's you and you're all in, I just want to welcome you guys. I want to welcome you to our team, to our family. I just want to say thank you uh, for, for seeing what we're doing and deciding to be a part of it because we can't do it alone. We need you guys. And we're excited about, about everything going on. We got Glendale, Arizona coming up in three weeks. We have um, the, the next convention is in Switzerland coming up in October. So I'm going to be here for all of it. We're here for you guys. We're doing this together. We have an amazing team. As you've seen, all of these guys are absolutely incredible. And uh, I want to just thank you guys for having me on. And I'm going to hand it back to the one and only Mr. Ty Stevenson to wrap us up. Thank you guys so much. Oh, guys, drop some love in the chat for Mr. Richard Ustra. This man, dude, so much so much appreciation for you and and really like can't even stress enough how fun it was having you here finally in new zealand we joked around and said i said this to him before he landed I, like i was messaging him i said you know i don't know if i've ever built this much connection with someone who i've never met in person because we've been in communication almost every day for like the last you know 430 odd days but man that week was just electric like the first 48 hours like you know landing down to taupo back to Auckland events, meeting people back to back. And this is the thing that rocked me the most because it was the first event that we'd ever done in person as a team. We've just been doing lots of Zooms, right? And after the event in Taupo, you know, people were coming up to me that I'd never met before. You know, people that, you know, Michael had introduced to the team, people that those people had introduced to the team. And they came up to me and gave me these intense hugs and these like insane eyes of gratitude. And I was just so rocked by it because I'd never met these people, but they were just so grateful because you know they're seeing Mike and myself on these Zooms and helping and, and leading people and, and, and doing this stuff. And it was really, really insane. That feeling of like radical fulfillment of like, wow, this is serious. You can see how much it's doing for other people. And that's why I pick up the phone and let people know about this. That's why I bothered to post about this because I don't know the next person story, but I know enough stories to know this is crazy. I remember sharing that with Rich. I'll never forget what you say. He's like, Bro, wait till they call you in two or three years time and they're in tears because they've made millions. And I know Rich has had those stories over and over and over again. And that's what I'm here for. Like I'm here to create as many freedom and influence stories as possible and to see as many lives transformed. And so, you know, just while you were like saying this, um, while you were speaking, Rich, you reminded me of um, my dad was preaching this morning at church. He talked about these four things, he talked about identity, talked about maturity, talked about responsibility and talked about destiny. And, and there's this line that you may have heard before, but I believe it's so true, is when you find your people, you find your destiny. When you find the community that God's called you to run with, it will radically accelerate you into the plan that God has for your life. And that's what I believe we have going here. I have not felt this much acceleration in my life in such a short amount of time and more vision for the future than ever. Like I'm exploding with hope and joy with all of this. I'm naturally a positive person. But this is this gets me up early and this keeps me up late at night because it is so fun being able to run with people that are running who are serious about kingdom transformation in a big way. And the kind of conversations we're having are big. Like there's there's stuff behind the scenes that, you know, we're doing all of this and we're creating this legacy wealth. But, you know, like Richard and myself, our mutual friend, Jono, he's the one that called me about this. You know, he's moved, been able to move his family from Canada to YWAM in Hawaii because of this. And they're there volunteering their time, training people in water systems because Jono's a water engineer. And they're busy mapping out, you know, going back to Africa to do more water projects there. And that's where, you know, we're generating wealth, but there's a reason. We all have different passions and dreams of impact that we want to create. But our team is very much in that space already of seeing these water projects happen in Africa. And, you know, the question is, 
for you I have is like, who are you becoming? What is your story going to be? What is the legacy you want to live? What do you want to create? What kind of experiences do you want to reshape your family line? I mean, most of us may have grown up with, you know, the story of money in our household was we can't afford that son. We can't afford that. We can't do that. That's not for us. And a huge turning point for us and our family was when we stopped saying we can't afford this and started asking the question, how can we afford this? Because I'll be real with you. When we saw this, we were like, okay, that's going to cost something. How can we do this? Because it, I realized like insanity doing the same thing and, and expecting different results. And so, you know, we're all in different places, but if you want to get started with us and you're having those kinds of, those kind of thoughts to zoom out and ask yourself like, what is Netflix giving me right now? What is my $5 coffee giving me right now? And then start thinking about where you want to be two years time, five years time, and what changes you need to make to actually change the future that you want to step into. So yeah, guys, that's, that is us. That is, um, man, I just want to thank again, everyone who's been on here live with us this evening, tuning in. If you're watching this recording, thanks so much again, you know, get back to whoever shared this recording with you, but Benji knows what to do guys. If you, you're watching this, uh, um, amongst raising royalty, you know, this man is creating such incredible impact stories in the kingdom just by facilitating these conversations of generating seven streams of income. For some people, this is brand new and I'm so excited for you because you mind is just going for the first time realizing like wow i wasn't born to just trade my time for money until i'm 65 and then retire on whatever's in kiwi saver yeah i'm so excited for you because your brain is just going wow there's actually more to life and i could retire in three years five years time and then create an entire different legacy story so yeah guys i just want to thank again you know Gemma, for jumping on with us absolutely so much love for you and your family and the story that you've created and the hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of lives that you've already impacted in the space uh for michael man you and ness down there in taupo such an honor to be doing this with you just blown away every day that we get to just have fun man and collaborate and help people step into the space rich i know it's like i don't know 4 a.m in canada and panama right now and you would never say so based on the energy that you bring to all of our calls like this because you're living your dream right now and your passion to just set people free in this space. So thank you so much, our amazing team, for Seb as well, for tuning in. I know it's pretty late there in California. And Benji, man, such an honor to be with you this evening. And so with that, I'll say thank you and good night from us. But Benji, I want to hand it back to you and you can close out however you want. But yeah, thank you so much, guys. Oh, thank you guys so much. We've absolutely loved our time with you. People, uh, whether you're live or watching the replay, uh, so many people are going to be on the replay uh, and loving this. But um, what did you think? You know, for you guys hearing this for the first time, let me know what you, what do you think? Like, how? what's the vibe for you guys as you're hearing this? What's the feeling? Especially like in the progression of where we've been going through this conversation um, you know, in the seven streams challenge, I'm like, this is ticking all my boxes. That's why I jumped in right away. But Seb, um, some of these guys you're meeting for the first time, what's your thoughts after just hearing this presentation? How are you feeling about this, man? I mean, it's, it's awesome. You know, I think the, uh, if you're, it, let me, re, let me back up a second. There, there's, there's so many opportunities out there in the world to get started in, but uh, I'm very, 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 very impressed by this, by this platform. Um, yeah, for a number of reasons. One, the testimonies are actually real. You know, it's, it's real people having real results, getting real, taking real action and getting stuck in and making it happen. Um, number two, um, it takes a lot to watch people, you know, on a, on a late on a Sunday night in New Zealand or, you know, 4 a.m. In, in Panama or, you know, 3 a.m. in the morning in California, you know, things like this, like people like getting stuck in to get, do this and make it happen. Um, is a big deal when you see something where there's massive energy around something like this like that's a massive indicator of there's real momentum here um, and I think three like when you find a tribe of people who are doing this who are values aligned and actually are stepping into culture to transform things in an aligned way then like it's an unstoppable force so I'm pumped about this guy's um, massive massive love and uh, you know let's do it let's do it let's change the world together come on so exciting 